17th ranked TCU, the Horned Frogs out of the Big 12, are taking on the wait, wait, finally wait, hold on, ranked. Hold on. I think yeah. TCU just scored again. Wait, hold wait, on. Against, against the team's hat you're wearing. We're going to talk about that here. This yeah. was that was unbelievable. So TCU ranked 17th. They get the finally ranked Kansas Jayhawks at 5-0. So what took five, so long to raise? This, I, I don't raise, know. They should have been in Kansas a couple weeks Jayhawks. ago. Five and zero, oh, five and zero oh against the spread. And here's the other thing: they're living that charmed life. They oh. are living a charmed life. Iowa State misses three field goals last week to help Kansas win the game. Iowa First State three Dave, field goals of the entire season that this incredible. kid missed, Poor and he kid. hit the thing twice. Like, how how do you do that? Yeah, and the third one, you could just see Matt Campbell's body language. He did not want to send the kicker out there. I'm not kind of surprised he did. You knew it was coming. Oh, man. You when you was watching coming. that, you're like, oh, boy, he's going to miss. He's going to miss. He's going to miss. Like, you already thought that walking out. Kansas is undefeated. Game so Kansas, is going to Kansas behind. They are. And so here's the thing. Kansas is pretty good. I've been telling you that since week two when they laid it on West Virginia here in Morgantown. Yes. They're good, and they're getting breaks. That's a dangerous combination here for these Jayhawks. They're going to be home again. I assume another sellout, which would be their third. They had two in 13 years. Now they're going to have three in consecutive weeks. But they get this Horn Frog teams that you mentioned. They ran for nearly 400 on Oklahoma. Oklahoma's defense is broken. We're going to get to Oklahoma in a minute. They mm. are broken defensively. But TCU looks really good. Sonny Dykes has brought that offense there. They're using that team speed. This is a big line, though. Show me what you got recently or this morning. But I've got minus seven TCU. Is that what you're seeing there? TCU minus seven. The total is up to what? 68? What? Yeah. Well, you got you got two teams that can score and two defenses that are suspect here. So the the number you you might have to look the over. I know we get, uh, the kids say sus. Well, I'm not kids, so I'm not saying sus. Hell yeah. Tell them, Bihal. All right, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> so you got two questionable defenses. So a couple things. When does Kansas's charmed life run out one? Mm. Number two, they are tremendous. The Jayhawks are in third down conversions. They're hitting about 60% of their third downs, mm. third best in the country. I'm not sure that's sustainable, is it? I mean, those are a couple things there. You get teams missing field goals. You're just clipping along on third down. At some point, that catches you. Is this the week? Seven scares me a little bit, but is this the week where it runs out for the Jayhawks? Opener number in a couple places was five. And obviously nobody was scared because it's seven now. Um, I think you have to you have to evaluate this thing two ways. All right. If you like TCU, you may have already missed the number, or you have to be comfortable laying seven. It's not coming back down. <laughs> it's not. It's going that way. Um, if you want Kansas, you can wait. Again, the show's recorded on Tuesday. The video is available later today on Tuesday, is the plan, if not Wednesday morning. You may find this on Friday and it's eight and a half. You may find this on Friday and it might be seven still. I don't think it drops below. Um, I want Kansas to win. I think it's a fun story. I really <laughs> it's, it's do. I'm caught story. up in it and they're going to be story. there. Uh, either McAfee or, or, or Corso on, on Saturday is going to put the headgear onto the Horn Frog. They're putting a Horn Frog. But this may end up being the public dog of the week. I think it's a fun story to get caught up in. The number tells me it's a TCU bet. I, th I think that's where I am, too. I, I don't love the seven, but I just feel that regression is it's due for Kansas. It's come. And, and listen, Jalen Daniels has been great. He should be in the September Heisman conversation. One interception. I There's just some things there. Is doing there a September don't Heisman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it every year. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I thought to, I was like I thought they awarded that. Okay, so yeah, that's a no, September every... Heisman conversation for the people that jump in it, but aren't going to win it. Correct. Ah, uh, I see what you're Correct. doing. Correct. See, that's funny. I was at the game. I went to the UNLV game with a couple odds makers, and Mo Pearson, who used to do the show with me on Cash Consideration, said, "Can you put out a tweet or something about the Kansas quarterback? What's his name again?" Jalen Daniels. Jalen Daniels about winning the Heisman because I want people to bet it because he's not going to win it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Mo. No, I'm not putting out a tweet telling people to bet it. Then they're going to yell at me. So, no. Okay. All right. Um, so, we're, we, we're leaning TCU here early in the week. Continue to monitor the line. Now, right? Is that I, fair? Yeah, I, yes. But, I mean, like, I'm wearing the Oklahoma hat. 
just well, one because it matches the Phillies color. But do you take anything from like is TCU a world beater because what they did to Oklahoma last week, or is there a letdown factor there? Uh, I think TCU's legit offensively. I mean, that that was a lot about Oklahoma's problems, I think. But you've got an offensive head coach in Sonny Dykes that knows what he's doing on that side of the ball in particular. You've got some playmakers. You've got tons of speed at TCU, which they, which they always have. So and I think TCU's got a little bit. There were a lot of people high on TCU before the season. I was a, I was a wait and see attitude. Yeah. And so far, they're off to a nice start. Are they, are they the best team in the Big 12? Uh, they're, they're in the discussion. Kansas state's in the discussion. Okay. They have a quarterback in Adrian Martinez. Who's playing as well as anybody in the country. He's, he's trying to inch his way into the September slash October Heisman conversation. Oh, Martinez, Martinez has been great. Been great. Yeah. So I can't believe they're, it. they're in the conversation. I mean, he's 30 years old. So he should be right. They're in the conversation. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click on another video right here on the screen. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.